Hi guys, today we're taking a first look at the Moto Turbo. This is a new flagship smartphone from Motorola which is currently available on Flipkart for Rs 41,999. Now the price tag may be quite steep but the Moto Turbo packs in some high-end specs starting with the display which measures 5.2 inches in size and sports QHD resolution resulting in a pixel density of 565 ppi. Now as you can see the display is incredibly sharp and clear with excellent viewing angles as well. In the front of the device is where you'll find the 2 megapixel front camera on top with the speaker grille right above. Below are a row of Android capacitive keys and Motorola has chosen to forego the on-screen controls in favor of this. The left spine is bare but the right is where you'll find the power button and volume rocker which also doubles up as a SIM card tray and accepts a single nano SIM card. The bottom is home to the micro USB port and the top is where you'll find the 3.5mm audio jack. Moving over to the back though is where things get quite interesting because Motorola has used a really nice ballistic nylon finish for the back panel. It's textured, it's grippy and it doesn't attract fingerprints or smudges. You'll find the Motorola logo and the 21 megapixel primary camera with dual LED flash. Now the Moto Turbo like other Motorola smartphones runs a stock version of Android. In this case 5.0.2 lollipop in terms of preloaded content you will find Motorola's regular suite of apps which includes Moto Assist, Moto Display, Moto Voice etc. Powering the Moto Turbo is a 2.7 GHz quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 805 processor mated to 3 GB of RAM there's 64 GB of internal storage that's non-expandable but on a fresh reboot you get 53 GB of user available space which should be more than enough for most users. Fueling the Moto Turbo is a 3900 mAh battery which should easily last a day and a half with regular usage taking into account the 2K display. In terms of connectivity, the Moto Turbo offers Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC and it also supports 4G but unfortunately it doesn't support India's Band 40 which is what is currently available. It does support Band 3 which is expected to be rolling out later this year. So that's it for a first look at the Moto Turbo. Uh, we are going to be reviewing this device over the next couple of weeks to bring you our verdict so do stay tuned. Thanks for watching.